everyone, Luna Marie Wolf here, and if you guys haven't seen my videos that I've been putting out, I have baby betas that are going to be sold. I'm sorry, I'm freaking everyone out. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so, I'm gonna show you guys what the parents look like. I gotta turn on the light real quick, because it's over here. My room's sort of messy, okay? Um, these are the parents over here. I gotta move stuff around. Okay, these are the parents over here. It's really dark over here. I'm so sorry. Um, but if I have a picture of them, I will put a picture down below. This is the female. She is a koi. Actually, let me see if I can grab me a light or something. Okay, it seems like... Um, hold on. It seems like the flash on my phone works as a perfect light. But... As you can see, they think they're going to get fed. The glass is kind of dirty. Please don't mind that. Um, the bottom does look really bad, but that is because I don't normally do water changes on this. Because this is really weird. Um, but they had an algae bloom. And whenever they had the algae hey, bloom... Hey, okay. Why? What? I, don't know. I don't know. But they had an algae bloom. And it, like, covered the entire tank, and I was like, oh my crap, oh my goodness, oh my crap, oh my goodness, I need to clean it out. And so I went to go clean it out, but then I was like, no, no, I don't, I, I'll, I'll wait just for a bit. And I waited, and the algae cleared up, and the water has never looked this clear, ever, like, ever, not even clean water. Uh, it just looks a little bit, uh, dirty, because the glass is dirty. And I'll have to clean it, and the glass is also scratched because it's just simple plastic. Um, as you can see, I have them in an aqua falls for betas. Um, if you guys haven't seen the video where I talk about why I have them in these tanks, I will put a card up, up on top somewhere over here if I've already uploaded that video. But here is the female. She is a koi placot. She has these iridescent scales that look so beautiful. She is actually red, black, and white. As you can tell, she likes to follow my finger around a little bit. She is a very healthy mama. She, out, she has eggs in her right now, and I don't know why, because I haven't been conditioning them to breed. But they've just been doing whatever they want to the past couple of days. But they have. she has iridescent. As you can see, she has these really shiny scales. And they look green to me. They look like a like a silvery green, and then she has some blue. I don't know what color they look like to you guys, but that's what she what that's just what she want looks like to me. Here over here we have our beautiful little male. Oh, this is Erica, by the way. This is uh, Jason. Um, and Jason over here is a dragon scale. If you can look closely he doesn't really like the camera he is a dragon scaled rose petal yeah he's a dragon scaled rose petal not sure what color he is um, but as you can see he also has iridescent scales and he is he has a black uh, face and he has like a silvery weird coloration on his body and then his fins go from red to purple and at the ends they are white I don't think he wants to be over here. He normally doesn't flare very often, but that is what he looks like in all of his glory. I mean, like, look at him. He is just a booty. He is a beauty. He is a good papa. He didn't know what he was going to do there for a couple of minutes whenever they were breeding. He was like, what do I do with these? Do I eat them? Do I spit them out? And I was terrified because I thought he was going to eat all the eggs. But... Just another thing to tell you guys, he is, whoa, look at him, look at him. These are both PetSmart Betas. I didn't pay $300 to get a breeding, like a actual beta that came from a breeder. So these are most likely mutts, but they look very pretty. So I got them and I liked their coloration and I decided I was gonna breed them. And I breeded these two, a placot, a placat, placot, and this little rose petal over here. Um, his, he did say he was a dragon scale. 
I'm thinking that he is a rose petal tail. I'm pretty sure that's what tail he has, but I am not sure. Um, it looks like he does. Um, if you guys know anything about that, please comment down below. Um, I've looked up all pictures and I can't find one that matches him. This is actually one of their little kids. This is our faded little girl. Um, she is C, uh, just the letter C, not S-E-A, but the letter C. And I, we are keeping her because whenever she was in the grow out tank, her siblings decided they were going to rip off her tail. She doesn't, she hasn't really been accustomed to the camera yet, so she's probably like, I don't know what that is. Oh, if you see this like really weird sticky residue right here, it's just tape. Um, whenever we had a rainbow shark in here, we had a little, um, a little rainbow shark in here that lived in here for a little while. Um, we had to put tape over the lid because the cats would lift up this lid and they would eat. They would try to catch the fish out of the top, which is really weird because I don't even know how they got it. Well, they could probably just like claw at it a couple of times. They would fall off, but, um, we just had to put tape over it just to make sure that they didn't get out. Um, it is a little female and she is currently attacking her reflection for some weird reason. But that's okay. Um, yeah, this is her little tank. We're going to keep her. She has a little moss ball over here. A little moss ball over here. Um, she has her a little uh, skull that she can hide into. She has her a filter that runs out water. This actually is not the filter for this tank. This tank only came with a air stone. So I put a filter in there because she was uh, very messy. And I wanted to make sure that her tail he healed back right. Uh, it actually sort of kind of didn't. She still um, swims kind of weird to me, but I'm not sure if she just had a birth defect or what. What, 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 what are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Is that a hand? Doesn't know what to do about the hand. <laughs> um, the only thing about this filter is I, uh, this is the filter that was actually in the grow out tank and, oh look, she's coming to say hello to everyone. Um, this is the filter we actually had in the grow out tank and what happened was the babies kept on getting sucked up into this so I had to put a little net on the bottom of it uh, so they wouldn't get sucked up and then one day I noticed she was gone and I was like oh my gosh she was a lot smaller than she was now and I was completely freaking out and so I cleaned out the filter and lo and behold she was in the filter she was just swimming around she was just like whoa that was weird that was a really weird place to go so I feed her the same thing that I feed these guys over here I feed them some dried blood worms and she is not going to be for sale because I have grown so attached to her that I don't even think I could come to selling her. And you know, that's what happens whenever you have betas. But back to these guys over here. I have the flash on, so now it's going to be really bright. Um, hold on. But these guys are the ones that I actually am going to sell. As you can see, there are some that are pretty big. There are some that are pretty small. Where, where are some of the small ones? Small ones right here. Um, some of them are out of order because of I record. I put my phone up here and I record, and so I have to have them on here somehow. They are in little glasses, as you can see, and I do do water changes. I do do. <laughs> I do water changes on these cups as often as I can, which right now is one full water change once a week or twice a week and just um, daily going in and... Uh, with a little syringe and uh, sucking up all the food and poop that they have at the bottom of the tank. Uh, uh, the cup, you can see that they really like to be messy, so I have to go through and uh, take all that junk out again. This boy right over here, have to move this cup just real quick. I don't know where I'm going to put the cup. I'll put him right there. And remember that he's over there. Actually, that's not a good idea, guys. I do not want him to fall. I'll put that down there. Um, I'll put the chick down there. And I'll move this over here, like this. So I can move him over here. As you can see, this guy is actually really big. 
he is very pretty. He has the same coloration as his mom. Pretty sure you're a guy. Couldn't get a really good close-up of you. Looks like you're a little boy. Yeah, you're a little boy. Do I have you marked as a boy? I have, a, I have you marked as a female. Why do I have you marked as a female? Sorry guys, had to go and get the marker. So I can change his to a boy. Congratulations, it's a boy. And there's the marker. Just gonna put it over there. Put him down here. Oh, yeah, look. Blowing little bubble nest. That should have been the first clue. Hmm. Gotta move these shoes out of the way. But, as you can see right here is my beautiful little son. Look at him. I hit the wall again. He is so beautiful, guys. I mean, look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Look at him. Look at him in all his glory. Ah, I'm sorry I'm hitting all these cups. I mean, look at him. This is A. He is the first boy to ever get his jar. He is the first beta to ever get a jar. Um, and look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I do believe he is a half moon. If you guys have any, if you guys know anything else, please comment down below. Look at him. He's posing for the camera. Oh my gosh. He's never done that before, guys. He's never done that before. Every time he sees the camera, he run, runs away. Every time. And look, he wants to pose here for you guys. I mean, look at him. Look at him being a beauty. Look at him being a beauty. Look at him. I'll have to clean out his tank again. But that is A. He is the male. And this is B. She is a very odd female. I mean, hold on. If she comes over here, you guys will be able to see her weird coloration. Let me move him over just real quick. Look, she's spotted, guys. Like, she's half... No, she's like more than half the size of this little boy. But she is just the oddest color ever. Like, I looked up spotted betas and I got a, a different type of species. I mean, look at that. She's like spotted and she has like a smooth face. Like, I don't know what she is, guys. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure she's a placot. Judging by her tail and by how her dorse, her, her fin on top uh, is not um, as long and flowy. Uh, I actually looked off her mother, but she is just so weird. I, I've never seen a beta this color. If you guys know what color type she is, please, please, please comment down below. I need help with this. Um, whoa, hold on. Why does my camera not want to focus? Like, look at that. She's so beautiful. Love her so much. Ooh, everything came unfocused. This is a little boy. His little thing says he's a little boy. I'm going to have to clean out his tank. He's got some weird... Okay, so every now and then I get, like, this weird film in the water. And so... I have to like clean out their tanks often. This one is also an injured little guy. Uh, he does not have a tank because I only have one available tank at the moment. But look, he's coming to say hello. Hello everyone. As you can see, his tail fin does have a little rip in it. I have been cleaning out his tank a little bit more, but there is a little bit of algae growth, so I gotta get that rid of. Look at him. Look at him go. The reason it is green on the bottom is because this is this is just my little tidbit. Um, I clean out the jars. Whenever I clean out the jars, I do a full water change. But I'm not able to get stick my hand all the way down into the bottom in order to get down to the very bottom uh, and clean all that out. So what you're actually seeing green is just a little uh, growth of algae across the bottom. And it does not seem to harm him. So he is doing good. I just have to suck out a little bit of his food that he did not eat. 
but there is the little boy. Or, nope, little girl. Sorry. I am so sorry. I've been calling you a little boy. You're a little girl. Ah, I'm so sorry. Here is a odd colored one. Let me move this one so I can slide this guy out. It's very, very hazardous. Because if you knock one over, then you knock them all over. Oh, and you may be wondering why these beta jars look kind of weird. Like, why they have black stuff on them. That's, some of this is actually stained. Because these went through a fire. And these jars actually went through a fire. And they survived. So, I kept them and cleaned them out the best I could. And I have been using them for little beta jars. As you can see... He is, he, he, he is a very odd coloration. He has red fins, just like his mom. But it does, n he also has iridescent, just like his mom. But it does not look like I have any koi's, which is kind of sad because I was really wanting to get a koi. I may keep a male, I may keep a male and rebreed to try to get that koi to come out because I really love koi's. And it seems like koi's are becoming the next popular thing in betas. He keeps on looking at the camera and he's looking right through the dirty spot. It looks like there's dirty spot all around it actually. I'll have to clean out his tank today. I may keep him because he is just a beauty. But whenever they do start to get older, I will pick one out that I want to keep. I'm going to pick maybe one or two that I want to keep and I will rebreed maybe sibling to sibling or parents to s children because in the beta world genetics don't matter a fly landed in her tank now I have not actually seen this beta in a while and it looks like she is taking he is taking on a whole new coloration that I have not seen it is actually like this one over here uh, B but it is like almost white. Hold on, I'm trying to get her on camera. Ah! I'm sorry guys, I just hit the thing. It's like a white color, which is so weird. Why do I keep on getting all these weird colored betas, guys? See, look, it's white. It's white. Why are you white? You can't possibly be a white opal. People pay really high prices for white opals, actually. So if you want to be a white opal, you can be a white opal. Not sure how much I will get for you though, because I will I'm selling you guys all for three dollars. <laughs> I like to keep my prices cheap because I don't care how much work I have to do. All the work is worth it. Cause I love watching babies grow. Here are just some more guys, and there are more guys down here. More little ones, more little ones. Where's the little one in here? Tiny itty bitty one. See? All these little guys. There's some in the back, but I can't really get my camera back there to film. So, here are some bigger ones down here. As you can see. Here's a very tiny little one. Look at how big he is. He's not very big at all. Um, and down here... We have the guys in cups. I don't have jars for them, but I will actually be having to do another water change soon on these guys because their tanks are looking a little nasty. And so, I'm just going to tell you guys that you are completely translucent. Why are you completely translucent? That should not be right in a beta fish. Unless you are cellophane. Are you going to be cellophane? I know a little bit about betas. Don't judge me. I mean, if you want to be cellophane and you want to have that fleshy looking color, then you just go ahead and be a cellophane. But, that is just what I wanted to show you guys. These betas will be on sale. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, they will be on sale September 9th. But if you uh, follow me, if you have, uh, if you are on my Facebook or you are on Craigslist in the van buren fort smith area or you uh are here on youtube you guys will get them second so
so October 9th, I do believe, yeah. September 9th, October 9th, yes. Um, September 9th, these guys will be four months old. Um, October 9th, these guys will be five months old. So, yeah. Not very many people on here, actually, as I'm recording this video. So, hopefully, with me putting out this video... You have a black spot on your tail. Do you guys see that? What is up with all of these weird betas? <laughs> I may actually mark A, C, M... Oh, okay. And guys, look at this, okay? I know you can kind of see right now. Has a little blip in its tail, but it is completely smooth. Like, do you see that? There's no rips or anything. Why it is... is are you a double tail? This is just really weird. I don't know. I got really weird betas, guys. Um, so I may keep a couple of them and rebreed because I really want to just... Because this would be... these. I just love these guys. I love breeding betas. I love it so much. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh. Comment down below if you think you would buy one of these guys. Um, I'm going to keep it at $3 if you come and pick up the fish. Um, if I have to ship it anywhere, then you will have to pay for shipping because um, October, that's when the... Um, you having, are you having some problems there? Are you okay? Okay, this is the first time she's ever swam like that, so that kind of freaked me out there for a bit. Did I feed her too much? Is she bloated? Do I need to go get a, get a frozen pea for you? Maybe a little bit bloated. I'm not sure. I will not feed her. I will make a note, do not feed bee, um, for the next couple of days until she is swimming correctly. I'll look up why she's swimming really weird. See, none of them are swimming like that except for her. Maybe she's just showing off for the camera. Quit showing off for the camera. Whoa, A just flared over there. Okay, so please comment down below if you guys think that you would take one of these betas whenever they're bigger. Especially whenever they're bigger, their colors are definitely going to change. So I will have to be updating you guys on these betas periodically. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to go down into the, the description box and look for my other accounts like instagram tumblr whatpad because i will be putting the beta fish on there as well and you don't want to miss out on the beta that you want i will see you guys later bye <laughs>